Hello, here is my Bowser Road Railer train. Back in the 1990s, these trains were a very common sight in my area. In real life, these are specially reinforced trailers designed to be hauled on a train like this. Every trailer gets connected to a set of train wheels like this. And the front trailer gets connected to the locomotive like that. The first trailers like this had the train wheels permanently fixed to them. And you would either raise or lower the train wheels to put it on the tracks or take it off so it could travel on the roadway. When it first started, these trailers were meant to carry engine parts for auto manufacturers. Whenever I first saw one of these trains, I thought, it was, they, thought I thought they were standard trailers. And my dad's like, look at that, someone probably made a lot of money and think of sticking train wheels on there like that. And a couple years later, I found out they were specially reinforced trailers designed to be hauled like this. Because if it's going uphill, it needs to be really strong because you'll have the rest of the weight of the train pulling on the first couple. And they don't use these trains very often anymore because the equipment is getting quite old and they haven't made anything new lately. And there's a couple that I know of that got ripped apart because of momentary loss of air pressure, locked the brakes on, and the front one got ripped apart. Because the train was still going, but the rest of the train stopped and, and all the force got put on one trailer and it ripped it right in half. So let's have a closer look at these things. I have about 10 more of these downstairs. If you look right here, the coupling holes are located right here. You stick this part right here into that and they hook together. What there is, is there's a pin connected to the train wheels and when you lift it up, it, it pulls the pin down and when you push it back down, it locks the trailers together. Here you can see how it gets connected to the locomotive. I have this piece right here like that and it actually comes off like this. Now this piece here is much shorter so it can fit in here. And the hook down here can latch into that like this. And it doesn't come apart. Yeah, you only need one of these per train. Here you can see the comparison to the one that connects it to this and the locomotive compared to the one that connects to other trailers. Here's the one that connects to other trailers. It's extended, and this one connects to this part that attaches it to the locomotive. Now they come in a standard trailer, or this one that's a refrigerator. And there you can see the gas tank down there for the refrigeration unit. There you can see the refrigeration unit in between the two trailers. It's just enough clearance for it to make a tight bend. The one thing I will complain about these is when they go around bends, this back trailer wiggles like this, and sometimes it derails. Here's a video of one of these trains in real life. I have my NS and CSX engines right there. This is a single 36 inch piece of track that I have right here. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And there's my Bowser Road Railer train.